with a Bosterous Wilcox, a sensational 4-1 win and five wins on the spin at home. Yeah, can't get much better than that. I thought today we were absolutely different class, uh, right from the first whistle to the last. A um, little bit of a blip with their goal, but you know, to beat a team who was in the playoff spot comfortably, because we, we deserved the win, there was no question about that. Um, the performance of the team uh, in possession and out possession today was the best it's been. Um, the character of the group, the attitude, the application. Sometimes easy when you sort of get safe and you can't quite make them playoffs to switch off a little bit and uh, you know sort of put your flip flops on and think about the summer. But you know this this group doesn't do that. We we're hopefully going right to the end. Some tired bodies in there, um, so I've got to have a look at Tuesday. I've got a lot to choose from. that will change, but dead on the feet. Dale was dead on his feet. Um, uh, super performance from from the whole team. It's hard to single people out, but I will. Uh, I thought George Onshaw was immense today. You know, playing against probably one of their better players, uh, and he, he kept him quiet. But as a team, I just thought the three centre halves um, did exactly what it says on the tin. Defended, uh, defended properly. Were good with the ball as well. I think that's the best I've seen them three. Um, Joe did a terrific job at, at wing back with uh, Lewis being out. Um, you know, Bobby Bales just, just doing what they do. Fraser found little pockets and front two, you know, deck another two goals for deck. And very unfortunate is it's, it's not quite happening for him at the moment to get in that uh, that hat trick at the post uh, sort of late on in the game. But overall, as a team performance, um, can't get much better than that. So something we did well today, getting the third goal. A couple of games that we've let teams back into it. Stafford at home, Workington at home, the third goal was crucial. Yeah, the, the next goal in the game when it's 2 0 is, is always huge. Like like you said, we, we let teams back in, but we managed to to see those two games out. I said to the lads at half time, you know, if we let these back in, no disrespect, they're a better team. That's why they're, they're you know they're in the playoff positions at the moment. Uh, but to get that third goal straight after half time as well, we we spoke about we've conceded too many goals. Uh, this season in early periods of the second half so we went the other way this time and we went on the front foot again and, and got the third goal um, then obviously the fourth goal strange kind of finish to the game with a couple of sending offs um, 10 minutes at a time but uh, a huge win and uh, well deserved certainly people paying their money today have had good value for money and an excellent advert for Northern Premier League football yeah we, we, we're playing some good football um, as an as a ex-defender myself, I was so pleased with us with, without the ball though as well. I know what we can produce with the ball, we've got some quality in the group and we know that, everybody knows that, but sometimes to, to have you know, the chance to be uh, really good with the ball, you have to do the dirty, the dirty things to, to get the ball and uh, we did that in the Bundes today, I thought the group uh, as a whole were uh, magnificent. And Dylan Wharton, bravery personified once again. Putting his head where it hurts. Yeah, yeah, it was a tough one. He's got a, a nasty little cut uh, above his eye. Like I said, brave, really brave, because that could have been a key moment where where they score. Uh, it wasn't. His opportunity to have a look at Josh as well. Um, I just thought I, I was a tad disappointed with it with a with a goal with their goal. Just the fact that we we needed to be a little bit braver. We needed to squeeze the and condense the pitch a little bit more, especially playing against the wind. And, you know, it would have would have affected their kicker where he's he hasn't got much area to put the ball into uh, without putting it you know into Josh's hands. So that was the only disappointment today. But so many positives today. Um, and again, down to hard work, togetherness, doing the basics well. Um, you know, running hard, and, that, and that's what we've done today. And it's uh, it's so pleasing. And with that, now down to the final three. Yeah, three to play. Um, Two weeks today, it's it, it's all all done and dusted. Unless there's a miracle, I think uh, mathematically we've still got sort of a chance. Um, eight behind, I think we are with uh, three to play. But hey, you never know. All we can do is try and win our games. I think it's important wherever we finish in the table that we finish the season hopefully the best we can. Um, the, the group's been magnificent since uh, since I came to the club, and we've uh, you know we've put markers down to say we're a good outfit. You know, their manager said straight after the game, well deserved. You, you deserve to beat us, you know, and they're, they're in the playoffs at the moment. So things are looking good. We don't get carried away. 
But, um, you know, hopefully the future looks uh, fairly rosy.